Coming up on Buckeye Vibe 2.0, spring break is right around the corner and many students are in the process of finding an internship or job after the spring semester. We talk recent Buckeye basketball success and are back for another drip or drown. All this and more, stick around. Hello, I'm Issa Renteria, and welcome to Buckeye Vibe 2.0. Today we'll cover tips for graduating seniors on the job search, dive into Buckeye athletics, and play another round of drip or drown. But first, let's talk about what's on everyone's minds spring break. So, would you like to introduce yourselves? Yeah, sure. Do you want to start first? Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Wen Si Zhao. I'm a senior student majoring in communication, and I have a minor in media production and analysis. Hi everyone, my name is Stony Tao. I'm a fourth year major in communication and film studies. Awesome, so do you guys um, yourselves have any fun spring break plans made for in a few weeks? Yeah, for me, I'm actually gonna go to Nashville with my friends and we all actually uh, visited Mammoth Cave on the way to Nashville. So it's not my first time being there, but most of my friends are going to be the first time visit the Mammoth Cave. Yeah. And for Nashville, we are planning to go to play some escape rooms because I heard that uh, for the franchise, the escape game, their headquarters at Nashville. So can't wait to explore more. That would be so cool. I've, I've been to Mammoth Cave one time. It's cool because they go inside and then they turn the lights off and it's pitch black. It's really mm -hmm. scary. That's yeah, really cool. That's really interesting. And they also have like several trails around the cave and like yeah. for the spring break I just hope the weather gonna be great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. one can only only hope. So that's yeah. awesome though. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> what about you Winky? Uh, I'm going to DC with my friends. Um, I hope to see the cherry blossoms there and also I'm going to visit the museums. That would be so cool. I know that's like the iconic thing. It's like the the cherry blossoms yeah. and the cherry tree and George Washington all that. I think that's what it is. That's so cool. Well, awesome. I'm glad you guys um, have some awesome spring break plans. Um, do you have anything specific that would be like an ideal spring vacation, spring break vacation? For me, I do not have any like specific expectations for the, for the spring break. I mean, like as long as I'm together with my friends, hang out, enjoy, you know, the week of, away from all the academic stress, then yeah, it would be great. Definitely. Yeah. yeah what about you? Uh, for me, I would like to walk around with my camera and take uh, candid street photos. So I think anywhere with uh, beautiful stores or uh, museums would be good for me. Awesome. Well, that makes sense because, I mean, you guys did a little bit of that. Um, Don and Winky actually went around um, to see what Ohio State students are up to and have planned for the spring break. So let's see what they had to say. Coming soon, do you have any plans for the spring break? I'm just planning on going home and hanging out with my family and just relaxing after a long couple months of school. Okay. I'm from New Jersey, so I'm from pretty far away. Yeah, I mean, I'm like 15 minutes from New York City, so like there's just tons of places in New York City that I love to go to. Central Park is my favorite, obviously, but um, there's also tons of fun shopping there, good food. Yeah, so that's fun. Since the spring break is coming soon, do you have any plans during the spring break? I'm just going to go home and see my family and friends. Where are you from? Uh, my name is Rigo, Ohio. It's by Dayton. Do you have any places to recommend them to visit? Um, I'd say just go to Cincinnati. There's not much in Miami's work. Uh, do you have any plans during, your, uh, during the spring break? Um, I'd say just going home to see my family. Like Both of my aunts have a birthday during spring break, so we're going to do a bunch of birthday dinners. It'll be kind of fun. I'm also from Miamisburg, Ohio. There's like the Miamisburg Mound, and it's like a burial mound, which is kind of cool. It's like something kind of unique. And then for like food, I'd recommend Skyline Chili. It's my absolute favorite. Well, pretty much that my plans are kind of restricted to preparing for the MCAT. I'm a pre-med student, so it's a big test we all have to take. If you have spare time yourself during the spring break, do, which city would you want to go? Well, I'll be headed home to Toledo to meet up with my parents. If I had to go to a city for vacation, I'd probably pick Chicago. I quite enjoyed that city. I would highly recommend anyone going to Toledo goes to the Toledo Zoo. It's by far the best attraction there. It's a 120-year-old zoo uh, with a fair amount of animal exhibits. I believe the uh, most interesting one is probably the hippo exhibit. Since the spring break is coming, do you guys have any plans? 
Um, yeah, we're both gonna go to Costa Rica for our mission trip with our church. Do you guys already have the specific plans where you guys are gonna explore on the way to there? Uh, essentially, our plan is we're gonna fly to San Jose in Costa Rica, San Jose, Costa Rica, and we're gonna go out to rural villages um, and hand out water filters that will be able to clean the water there since they don't have supplies to clean water, and uh, as well as be able to share the gospel to them um, to share like what we believe in and like what is our hope in, and um, hopefully be able to just be a blessing to the, their families and just to have a great interaction with them. And, yeah, just bring some joy to them. Um, for me personally, I expect it to be really challenging, but also just really life-changing. Um, just getting to serve God and just share the gospel with other people who just are just less fortunate than we are. Um, and that'll be a very gra um, gratitude and grateful experience that I will have. Well, what about you? Uh, similar, yeah, it's going to be very challenging. We're going to have to step out of our comfort zones to go into these rural cities and to talk to people who, I don't even speak Spanish, so it's like, it's gonna be really hard for me, but uh, we'll have translators there, so it'll be a great experience as well, just to, yeah, just share this truth um, to them, Lord, and, uh, to really be a blessing to them. I think, uh, yeah, that makes me more excited than uh, any anxiety I have or any uh, stress that I have, and I'm really just encouraged to go. And have a whole group going with me that I really know and love, and it's gonna be awesome, so, uh, yeah, I expect it to be challenging, but I expect it to be really awesome and great. It looks like everyone has a good variety of different plans for spring breaks. So that's awesome. I sure wish I could go to Costa Rica. That sounds fun. Yeah, same. I've never been to Costa Rica, but I was surprised that so many of them like going to stay at home for yeah, the spring break. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks so much for coming here and being able to show us a little bit about what Ohio State students are up to. For graduating seniors, spring break is usually accompanied by the stress of locking down those jobs after college. Be sure to stick around and we'll fill you in on some do's and don'ts for the job search, as well as advice from upcoming graduates. Welcome back. For many students here at Ohio State, graduation is just right around, right around the corner. As students prepare to finish the semester strong, many wonder what their next steps are going to be after graduation. Today we have Hasna and Lauren to discuss what's the best way to apply for jobs. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Husna. I am a senior graduating this May um, in journalism, and then I have a double minor in media production and professional writing. Hi everyone. My name is Lauren Stannard. I am a fourth year, so I'm graduating in May, and my major is strategic communications, and I'm also minoring in media production and analysis. Awesome. So since you guys have graduation coming up, do you have any um, tips for how to kind of search and apply for jobs? Yeah, definitely. Um, one of the best things a student can do to apply for jobs is to have their resume intact. So having a well-structured resume is really good because it can set you apart from other um, students who are also applying for the same types of jobs. So some tips on a basic resume. Uh, start off with the basics. Uh, your name, phone number, email. You don't really need your address or GPA. It's unnecessary. And try to avoid having pictures um, of yourself on your resume. Um, and also organization is key, so make sure that you have things on your resume that have a good flow. So you might want to have your experience and your education at the top with also your skill set. And um, you want to ideally have about one page um, and try to not go over that because people will look really quickly at your resume. They're not going to flip pages. So, you know, that's one thing you can do to have a strong resume. Awesome. What about you, Warren? Um, I know, like, she covered it pretty well. Um, I would definitely say, like, making sure that you don't use, like, in your skills, like, hard working or anything like that. That's kind of a big red flag for um, companies that I've heard of. Um, and then also, like, being responsible is a word you want to stay away from because, I mean, I feel like that's kind of implied that, oh, you're applying for this, you should be that. Um, so just, like, being a little creative. Um, also, like a resource that I've used for a resume to kind of spitball ideas is ChatGPT. Um, I feel like ChatGPT has really done a nice job. Obviously, don't copy and paste what it says, but it's definitely a good way to get a good outline of what you should say. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, in addition to like um, building a good resume, um, do you use other tools like like LinkedIn or Handshake to um, apply for those jobs and internships? Yeah, so LinkedIn is a great place to kind of show off your skills to employers. So um, when you go on LinkedIn, I would encourage everyone to make an account and add your picture, add a, like what 
you're all about and about me section. Um, there's also um, experience, uh, like, like an experience tab. There's also an education tab and honors and awards. So just make sure all that is filled out, um, kind of like what Lauren was saying. You can use resources like ChatGPT to help you, you know, write those phrases that you need to, but obviously like, don't copy it. Um, but yeah, you can also connect with alumni. So for example, if there's a specific company you want to apply to, like Big Ten Plus, uh, you can go onto their LinkedIn and you can see alumni from Ohio State that have applied and are actually working there and you can connect with them and they would love to talk to you about their job and their, you know, opportunities that they have for you. Yeah, that's awesome. And have you been able to experience any success with that, Lauren, especially in um, in your career so far? Yeah. So I, what I I'm going into sports, and I, the two websites that I mainly use are Teamwork Online and NCA Job Market. So first, like Teamwork Online is really great if you want to find jobs in not only college, but um, NFL, minor league baseball, major league. Um, all stuff of that nature and you also can like go under a bunch of different filters and pick like if you want like a job that's remote or if you want a job that's like in Ohio or even just like if you want an internship I used teamwork online to find my internship last summer and it really was just super easy I was able to like copy and paste my resume and kind of submit the same application all in one so I definitely recommend that and I applied to like 14 places in like a day so I, I totally recommend it um, and then the next the next website that I've had really great success on is NCA job market and um, NCA job market is basically just college jobs I want to work in college so it's just all about preference and I actually just heard today that I got a job at Auburn from this website so I'm really appreciative <laughs> of it. thank you guys yeah. thank you <laughs> Um, so I'm really appreciative of this website and just like everything that it offers and it's not only just like full-time jobs it's also like internships and like entry-level positions and it does a good job of labeling like what the job requirements are and ways to get in contact with those people and it's a great networking platform too. Yeah definitely and you specifically work in sports right so how do you think that's really helped you in kind of like navigating the different um, career search and yeah. Um, yeah. So like I work for Ohio State Athletics and I feel like a lot of the people that I've um, met through that, they've also found jobs through that website. And I think, you know, you know, working in sports in college and if that's what you want to make your career, great. But I think like my biggest tip is just to network yourself because it's it's who you know. Um, the only reason why I knew to apply to Auburn was because I knew somebody who worked for Auburn and he kind of told me about it. So um, just, you know, get, you know, look around and get your name out there and that's just kind of like my biggest advice so awesome and on advice do you have any um like big advice that you would want to share Halsa? um i guess one big advice i would share to students is believe in yourself um, because you can you know your friends and your parents will believe in you but the biggest believer is you in yourself so just believe in yourself and nothing is too hard and you can accomplish anything you set your mind to awesome you guys are great. Thank you so much for being here and um, sharing a little bit of your insight because it's some really just solid advice and I'm sure a lot of people can really use that to their advantage. Coming up next, we'll take a look at students' opinions on sports. Welcome back to Buckeye Vibe. After an exciting weekend of Buckeye basketball, we decided to check in on each of the teams. Here's Evan Hartman with the latest sports updates. Thanks, Issa. After a 79-66 win over Maryland, the Ohio State women's basketball team now have gone 14 games in a row without a loss and like to continue their streak this Wednesday against that team up north here at the Schottenstein Center. As for the men, they brought home a win against Michigan State this past Sunday on a wild buzzer beater. The men are now 2-1 since the recent departure of head coach Chris Holtman, including a huge win over number 2 Purdue last week. We sat down with our own Lauren Standard to discuss the program season as well as the head coach change. I think my thoughts on Chris Holtman getting fired are that, you know, I think it opens up a new avenue for the program. I mean, he was in his seventh year, I believe, of his eight-year contract, so, and they just bought him out of it, and I think that it can open up new doors for the program and maybe get recruits that they wouldn't have gotten if he would have stayed, and they also paid him like $14 million, which I thought was insane. That's a lot of money. I wish I could get that, but <laughs> um, I think, honestly, like, the program will do better and hopefully get um, 
diverse players in terms of talent. Um, I think the success of the players would increase rapidly and I think that you know instead of losing like four games in a row we probably could have won those games or at least made it closer. Um, I just it kind of got a little embarrassing for a while like losing 30 points to like Northwestern was really depressing so yeah. I think the future of the men's basketball team is you know I don't think it's capped. I think you know what we're seeing now is maybe it's limits and I think that they can definitely maximize the potential of their season after this fire not saying not questioning Chris Holtman as a guy but as a coach you know it was almost like his play calling was outdated and I think we needed to you know refresh the program so Looking ahead to the football season, the annual Ohio State Spring Game is coming up on April 13th. The Buckeyes have made some big moves this offseason to help them strengthen the team, and expectations are as high as ever. We sat down with Eric Vaugh to discuss Ryan Day in the upcoming 2024 season. Uh, well, um, great offensive mind. Excellent offensive mind. Um, I mean, we've seen with quarterbacks like Justin Fields and C.J. Stroud, I mean, th this offense can completely take over a game. Um, you know, they were able to, that's how they won a lot of games for a few years, uh, 2020, 2021, when Stroud was the quarterback. Um, I mean, the offense was consistently putting up 45 points a game. So um, there's no shortage of offensive talent whenever Ryan Day is head coach. Um, so long as he's the coach, I mean, the offense is going to be, is going to be clicking. And we've seen with wide receivers like Marvin Harrison Jr. and Chris Olave and uh, um, Gary Wilson and now Emeka Ibuka is coming back for his senior year so um, he's brought in so many great recruits and transfers over the years like um, definitely there's definitely room for improvement but I think he's definitely the, the the right coach for Ohio State right now. I see next season's defense uh, picking up where it left off this year. Um, defense really carried 2023 as a whole um, especially in big games, big wins against Notre Dame and Penn State, defense was the big factor um, in the game. And with almost everybody coming back, uh, with some big transfers coming into, like uh, Alabama safety Caleb Downs to bolster up the secondary, there, there's no reason I see the defense taking a step back. I mean, they're they're loaded with talent. Um, with JT Tuimolawa back and Jack Sawyer back and Denzel Burke, all these players that could have left for the NFL but chose to return. That's, I think, where the defense is headed. It's only going up. My expectations for next season definitely is 11-1 and or 12-0. and I think 12-0 and is the ceiling and a Big Ten championship and a, a college football playoff appearance and a national championship. Um, I don't think we'll be worse than 11 and 1 in the regular season though. I see us beating all our big opponents with the only game where I could really see us coming up short is on the road against the Oregon Ducks in the middle of the season, I believe sometime in October. But yeah, I think this is going to be the best team we've had under Ryan Day since his first year. It will be interesting to see what the Buckeyes will be able to accomplish this year. Tickets to Spring Game are now on sale for as low as $8. But that's all for sports. Stay tuned for Dripper Drown coming up next. And welcome back to Buckeye Vibe 2.0. Right now we're going to start another round of Drip or Drown. Let's meet our contestants. Uh, my name is Eric Vaugh. I'm a third year journalism major with a minor in media production and analysis. And I'm very excited for another round of Drip or Drown. Awesome. Yeah, and I'm Evan Hartman. I'm a third year uh, journalism major, um, and yeah, I'm excited for you know another episode of Dribble Drown. Amazing. I'm excited too, so let's just go ahead and get started. What do we think? See, I think, I think that's, that's a great outfit. I mean, <laughs> obviously I can't pull that off, um, but no, I think it works. Um, really can't go wrong with it. It's pretty simple, but very formal, but I like it. I really like it. My rating, I'd give it a 9 out nine. of 10. That's on a solid. scale of 1 to 10, a 9. 1 to 10, a 9. Okay. I like the plain. You know, a lot of times in Hollywood, you see, like, all this stuff. I like the plain, just the blue dress. 
I like it. I mean, mine's up there, like an eight and a half, nine out of ten, too. I like it. It's a good one. That's awesome. I like it, too. I think it's nice and timeless, a little off the shoulder. I love it, too. I, I give it a ten. I would wear that, definitely. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have next. Dale Bonner. Dale Bonner. Dale Bonner. Okay. Um, I I kind of like it. I mean, like the green is kind of like an ugly shade of green, in my opinion, most of the time. But I think with that shirt, I think it works. And like the baggy pants, like, I don't know what it is about basketball players, but they make the like baggy pants work. Yeah. I don't think it's as good as Zendaya's outfit, but I kind of <laughs> dig it. I would give it a, a seven, a very moderate seven out of ten. That's fair. Yeah, you know, I like the baggy pants. Again, it's plain. I'd probably give it like a five, but since he had the game winner, I'll probably give him like a six and a half, seven, just for, <laughs> just for that. I think it is basic, no fun. I could see any man walking down the street wearing that outfit. So I would rate it a four to be nice because there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not special. That's, That's fair. No, it doesn't stick out. No, no. That's fair. Anyway, let's see what's next after that one. <laughs> oh, the man. The man, the myth, the legend, Joe Burrow. Uh, Joe Burrow. What do we think about <laughs> this? I really don't know. I think, like, the green, like, I don't know. It's just, to me, it's just something's not really clicking with me. I don't know if it's the green and the white, uh, like, shirt. I don't know. The green, like, jean jacket. I don't know. I'm going to go, like, right down the middle and say it's a five because I don't know if I like it or if I hate it. I really don't know. That's fair. Yeah, I think he, <laughs> he he just pulls a lot of things off. He's got that swagger, I feel like. And so the green jacket, you know, the pants, I like it a lot. He doesn't, And he always got the headphones on, too. He's always rocking those. He's a simple guy. You know, I like it. I'm going to give him a seven and a half, eight out of ten. It's strip for me. Well, if you ask me, <laughs> I think it's good, good for March coming up, but I do not love this. What is it, kind of like a denim vibe? I don't know. Like denim, I don't know yeah. how I feel about it, Joe. I'm going give to <laughs> give him a two for, for effort. For effort. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Anyway, <laughs> let's see who's next. That's, yeah. <laughs> Marvin Harrison Jr. Um, see, I think this, I, I like this. I really like when guys wear pink because, like, it really shows, like, how comfortable they are. Um, like in their own skin, um, I guess, and uh, I think like the the kind of like ripped jeans as well. Like it's it kind of it kind of fits nicely with kind of complements uh, the shirt and the pants kind of complement each other. So I like it. Um, I'd give it like a six on a normal person, but because it's Marvin Harrison Jr., I think I'm gonna give it like a seven. That's okay. fair. Drip. I yeah, I, okay. I appreciate the pink. I like it. The ripped jeans, I've never, never been a fan of. I just, I can't get you behind them. He's always got that crossbody on, though. <laughs> he always seems to be rocking that. But you're right, he just pulls off a lot of things. I'm gonna have to give him. He's my guy, but I have to give him a four <laughs> and a half, five. I'm, I'm just not a fan of the ripped jeans. It's just they don't do it for me. I don't, I don't hate it. I like how he accessorized with it, so it's not just looking at the ugly ripped jeans and the plain pink t-shirt. But he accessorized. I like the glasses a lot and the hat. That's fun. So yeah, I'll, I'll give him. I'll give him a five. I'll be nice. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we have next. Mm. Oh man. Uh, okay. See, I like. You know, kudos to Usher for. You know, this is a very bold kind of outfit that is become a lot more popular in the last couple of years, but I've never been a fan of like the all black, like puffy winter coat. It almost kind of looks like a, I don't know, like he looks like some like evil villain in a way. Like, and then the mask too, like covers like his entire face. I've never been a fan of it. I'm going to give it like a light one out of 10. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's low, but he, it's not great. You know, um, yeah, a lot of people, no, not, not many people can pull that off, and us is not one. So <laughs> I'm going to have to go down there with you. Give him, I'll, I'll be a little nice, uh, two and a half, maybe a three out of, it's out of ten. Man. It's definitely not drip for me. Yeah. Maybe some of the pieces individually, but True. definitely giving giving a little bit of Kanye in this one. So mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, yeah, I'll give yeah. it two to be nice for the individual <laughs> pieces. Yeah, okay. And then we got one more share. share. Legend. Okay. Legend. I I think this outfit is like it's kind of it's similar to the last one, but it's much simpler. Yeah. Um, and it says Cher Saatchi, I think, on there, which I think <laughs> is really cool. It's like a collab between like her and Versace. I really like it. Um, I think like the the different colors like don't really like ruin the the all black look. Um, I'd give it an I'd give it a seven. I think it's drip for me. This, this Cher Saatchi, if that's if that's a real collab, I give her props. If not, I don't think I could ever I could never do that. I could never wear an Evan Saatchi <laughs> or something like that. So I appreciate the try there. But yeah, you said the colors 
kind of mesh with the all black and like the usher outfit. Still not doing much for me. I like it, like you said, accessorized with the glasses there a little bit, I think. So a little higher than usher. I'll do a little bit of three and a half, maybe a four, but that's all I can go for her. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like the color that's popping a little bit. The the heels are working a little bit. The glasses, so I would give it. I'd give it a six. I'll I'll be nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm a simple nice. man. I like simple outfits. So yeah, fair. It's fair. I like it. I, as you could probably tell. It's an everyday wear. No, I love it. I love it. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's all we have for tonight. Thanks for tuning in for another um, Buckeye Vibe 2.0 episode. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I hope you're excited for spring break and Buckeye athletics. And if you're entering the job search in a few months, good luck to you. We'll see you next time on Buckeye Vibe.